how do you usually prepare for the concert? <clears throat> do you have some rituals? Well, uh, usually I warm myself up and with uh, our band, the gang, we do the same. Before this concert we uh, warmed up our body, jumping, stretching kind of thing, and warmed up our voice with some singing and some some uh, stuff like and, you know of course like this and um, when I go on tour with a band and it's very um, it's it's very uh, hard work sometimes not if you play 10 concerts in a row for example I have my own individual rituals before and after the concert. It's like a opening and closing because I found it easier to do this uh, to maintain my energies and capacities. And this opening and closing is more like a moment for me. I cannot really explain how it works, but it's uh, maybe some kind of meditation from the outside, seen from the outside, but I would describe it as opening and closing. <sighs> Where are you now on your musical path? What's happening with your band? Yes. My musical path, my personal musical path, is um, at the moment of writing own songs, uh, which I kind of push away because of playing in bands. Because if I play in a band and have a project, I can put this aside easily. But right now, in, in these times, when most projects are inactive and I'm with me and myself m most of the time these unborn songs I call them they start uh, asking for attention so it's time for me to uh, yes to go into this and the bands some some are more uh, I play in several bands not only in the gang so some are more uh, some have more courage and others less. So I cannot really only count on the bands. How did the pandemic affect you and your music? Well... Um, there's a strong effect, of course, on my life as a musician mm, musically seen though I was always um, not so much afraid of the nothing sometimes I see it like a desert and I carry maybe water or I don't know uh, uh, other in when there's silence desert, silence and nothing, then for me as a, as a, mus a musician it feels like the biggest invitation there could be. So if everything locks down and there's nothing, nobody can go nowhere and nothing is taking place, it, it seems sad and lonely and quiet but for what I carry, and every musician carries, every every human being carries this, it's the invitation to fill this silence with singing, for example, or music. So I perceive it in a optimi an optimistic way. Respect und Neugier Festival is about diversity, curiosity, and respecting those differences. How much do you identify with that? How do you interpret 
it in your music. Diversity, curiosity, and respecting the differences. Uh, yeah. Well. Um, the surprise is a very strong sight I see in meetings with other people and how I deal in my life with myself. So ident I, I, identifi identification. identification is a word that puts it into shape, into form. If I go for curiosity and difference and um, what was it, uh, diversity, um, this breaks up. So for me, this is the looking for forms and leaving forms instead of putting it into form. Mm. So it's kind of a, a paradox thing to identify with diversity, for example. But it, I know, I know what is meant by that. So may I please uh, keep on treating strangers with respect and have a good ear for them, as for myself, and uh, stay stay in this state of um, expecting surprise. Good questions, I like them. Why did you become a musician? Can you remember that? kid now when you look in the mirror I see me as a grown man why did, did I become a musician I don't know um, maybe it's some kind of ability to copy it's a language so yes if you hear a melody and you can sing it or you keep keep it in mind yes you can copy well <clears throat> maybe it's this ability that made me uh, a musician but um, I didn't I did not really have the uh, plan to do this it happened I could earn money with it and then people would call me musician I myself I'm careful with identifying myself with something. So, of course, I am a musician, but I can be anything. So, you know, when I cook a meal, I'm a cook. I'm not a musician anymore. I could say I'm cooking like a musician. I play music with food. Still, it is cooking. So, maybe it's just a state of juggling with what is there in the world and fulfilling necessities and creating beauty. This is two things why I play music as well because I see music as one of the most precious things being a human being. 